Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech DIY Playground session. This time we are playing around with some widely used plugins and their configurations. And yes, thanks for 200 subs, which we completed last week. So these plugins will improve your productivity and help you to grow faster. So without further ado, let's get started. So yes, what we have done is in IntelliJ, we just press double shift and after pressing double shift, uh, we just typed plugins and it has opened this uh, particular uh, pop-up. In this pop-up, uh, it opens the marketplace and we can search for those plugins. Uh, today, we are going to cover Sonar Lint. So this is again a linter tool and with the help of Sonar Linter, uh, I will show you in this tutorial like how we can you know uh, improve our coding uh, by the suggestions which sonar lint gives on the code on the classes whatever we have so once we install the plugin we need to restart the IDE so that's what going on and the next plugin which we will be covering in this session is uh, X prompter so that's a key prompter so yeah i will cover that also after this so uh, so my intellij idea is restarting and uh, yep it's restarting and starting and starting meanwhile you can click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to pro for prompt notifications yeah so it's loading the project <coughs> yeah now the load uh, project is loaded and once it is loaded, you can see at the bottom, you can see the sonar linter uh, view. So this is the sonar linter view. So uh, once the uh, indexing project indexing completes, yeah, it here it, we can run this play button. We can click on this play button and it will run the sonar linter against our class and it will show whether we are following all the Java 8 currently the java 8 environment is set so on my machine so it is checking the uh, linting against that and suggesting the changes what we need to follow and uh, believe me guys most of the top mnc's also use this plugin it's free it's it's usually popular so you should be knowing this okay and this is how you can you know select it it shows the major code smells you can uh, right away check that here and you can fix them with the intellij suggestions yeah that way uh, code becomes coding becomes very very easy and uh, e suggestions also here are very very contextual and uh, yeah i mean what to say more <laughs> so that's where in and uh, uh, in most of the MNCs, they have their own Sonar Cube or Sonar uh, servers. So that configuration also we need to take care of when we are doing in uh, in that kind of setup. So they would provide you with the Sonar Cube uh, URLs. So uh, that that you, that configuration we need to do. So again, we will go to that double click uh, on Shift, and then we can go to plugins and open the sonar Q, sonar lint plugin which we have installed so yes i am trying to open that in preferences yeah uh, either double shift or we can go in the this way also and here in the sonar uh, linter we can in a, we, we can configure uh, the sonar cube company provided sonar cube also so here is a short description it's showing about the sonar lint and uh, yeah i mean once we type sonar lint here so it opens the preference for sonar linter and here here we need to give the uh, company provided url or the server uh, so what happens is uh, once we get connected to the company provided sonar cube or sonar uh, cloud so uh, all the configurations whatever or the company standards which they want to follow out of the all provided sonar you know uh, rules so some companies uh, uh, have some restrictions and they have their own sta own set of rules which are 
again subset of what sonar covers most of the things are covered un under the sonar so if we configure that if we configure that what will happen is yeah, our intellij will start following our company standards okay so that uh, configuration we can do and uh, uh, once that is done uh, we can you know uh, run sonar linter against that okay and yeah uh, lombok also is there lombok plugin is there so uh, we can add that also but uh, that is not part of scope of this particular tutorial or this particular tips session yeah so that is the one thing and the next was key prompter so key prompter again as i mentioned key prompter is again another kind of uh, you know tool which helps us in learning the keys i mean it's every programmer's dream that he can control the whole ide without touching the mouse tell me uh, guys i i at least uh, when i was a junior software engineer it was my dream like i should be doing the things without touching the mouse completely through the key, uh, complete navigation everything through my keyboard so those shortcuts it will it is quite handy handy it has its own view key prompter view so this also helps you in learning that and uh, you can you know even configure the keys so we will see how we can configure those keys also in this session so now we are going to uh, install i mean we have installed uh, key prompter x key prompter and uh, in restarting the id again and yes it is restarted now i will show you like uh, the how how it would be working so we have x key prompter as as you can see in the top uh, in the bottom right corner we are, we we are able to see the you know hints key uh, shortcut hints so this particular plugin provides the shortcut hints and whenever we press any key it it uh, audits that it records that hit or misses so if some key uh, some uh, you know some shortcut we have tried and it didn't work so that also it uh, checks x key prompter and uh, this is how we can configure the shortcuts uh, for some some of the you know uh, some of the functionalities which as and when as and how we want okay so that's what uh, the x key prompter is and uh, if you start uh, using it you will find it, it will also track like uh, whether we are currently utilizing it properly or not that way you know uh, that way it uh, shows the message and even we can disable this also like uh, if if i don't want to Uh, to get this notification every time i can simply click on this below disable uh, disable for this shortcut a uh, message so once i click on that next time onwards it will not show uh, prompt that uh, shortcut so yeah that's it it's a small session meanwhile guys if you have any such uh, plugins if you are if you are currently using any such plugins please let me let us know those things in comment section we will also try to cover them and we will share uh, with the larger group uh, it is since we are already 200 plus so it would be a pleasure to share such knowledge uh, with each one of us and uh, we will try to improve our productivity with the, by using such plugins and all and it's really exciting stuff so yeah so we are trying to configure uh, the shortcuts for a few uh, for few views so like i'm trying to do uh, for to do view i'm trying to have uh, set up one shortcut so i just uh, clicked on option plus uh, t so on option plus t now onwards whenever i press option plus t it will open the to do view for me and uh, you can see in the key prompter uh, window uh, view it shows me the hits and misses right so that is also started working and uh, 
let's try some other yeah so you might be uh, i think you might be now uh, knowing that how we can use make use of this x prompter it's a it's a very uh, useful plugin uh, intellij plugin with which we can you know uh, improve our uh, navigation skills through shortcuts and yes i i think most of you might be if you are using intellij you might be knowing that in intellij we can you know set up our key map to our cho uh, our own uh, id of our choice so we don't need to switch from our uh, intellij and it will work as our old old id so yeah this was today's uh, small session about uh, about the intellij plugins uh do let us know about more such plugins whatever you are currently using in your project uh we will definitely share them and we'll try to use them in our project also in our tutorial uh, future tutorials also so yes that's it guys uh so yes as i was telling earlier x prompter is showing all of that stuff uh like what are the shortcuts missed by key prompter and what are what it has covered all such things it has shown here yeah and thanks again guys thanks for watching and please do like share and subscribe press the bell icon to get prompt notification stay safe stay healthy and don't forget to subscribe yes in reach letting us to get there at the major milestone of 100k subs so yes please do take care of yourself and your family enjoy life and have a nice life bye